All right, Jordan, seems like you're posting more and more on Instagram. You ready to check out your feed and some of your most recent posts? Yeah, sure. We'll get All right. right, let's do it. First one, little helicopter trip. Where are you guys going? This is like a little harbor tour of Charleston. So, took us all around the beaches and the Ravenel Bridge and um, Fort Sumner and Fort Moultrie. It was probably one of the coolest things I've done ever. Did you guys take a lot of photos from the helicopter? Yeah, videos, um, everything. Pretty cool. Did you frame any? Because a lot of those Ariel shots that you see online look pretty cool, right? Uh, I need to frame them. I haven't yet, but uh, probably will link it. Nice. Here you guys are. <laughs> Halloween, yeah. <laughs> curious George and the big yellow man in the yellow hat. And then he was Curious George. He could have been Curious George too. That's a very cute Curious George. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess both, right? Yeah. There's yeah. two of them. <laughs> uh, what made you guys want to be this for Halloween? Kind of last second. She was so busy with med school, so it was, it was my job and her <laughs> sister helped me out. So, Dude, that is a great last minute costume mm -hmm. because the chances that you have a jacket or a shirt like that are probably pretty high. Yeah, right? this is actually the jacket from uh, the uh, It Kid. The rain jacket, <laughs> that, that was the jacket. It came in a set of one of the Halloween stores. So I just did that and bought a yellow hat and so, then put it together. So you already have next year's costume then too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to walk around with a balloon, so. You are set. You definitely know a thing or two about Halloween. Way this is back, a little throwback, yeah. right? Yeah, that's one of my good friends. That was like one of my first off seasons. Another quick put together. That was the guy, me and Pedro. And The Hangover, one of the best movies. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was very last minute, but it's fine. <laughs> so you're a good last minute guy, pretty much. Yeah, usually I don't plan it out too much. <laughs> Sometimes that's the best way to be, just be spontaneous, Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's my best one, so. Next one, another great picture of you and your girlfriend. Yeah, I've been killing it. Uh, we did just did a lot of cool stuff in the off season, so. Um, our parents had a beach house, so we spent a good amount of time out there. So you guys spend a nice amount of time by the water, would you say? Yeah, good amount. Uh, we did a sail, sailboat tour of the harbor, too. Did your dog Tuck give you a good workout with playing fetch? It looks like that's what you guys are doing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I didn't even have to worry about throwing. He could just run around there, <laughs> dig, do whatever he wanted, taste the water. But And when did you get him? Because he looks like he's still really young, and he's, he's such a cute dog. He's seven months now, so he's a little younger than I got him. His birthday is June 22nd, so I probably got him early July. Cool. My no. parents got him and watched him. Those are some good parents. Yeah, yeah well, he's too cute. They love him. <laughs> and what made you go the Golden Retriever route? They're just smart and happy and cuddly. And <laughs> he's a great dog. I, I got lucked out with him. So since you've been posting more on Instagram, do you think that there's a chance that he'll get onto Instagram <laughs> at some point? Because dogs do really well, and he's so cute. Possibly one. I got thousands of pictures of him, so <laughs> I got a lot of ammo for him. Content, baby. Just like this photo is thrown back to you playing football. Oh, How old were you in this? That was seventh grade. Very Gumby-ish there. So, um, is that when your nickname started? Not then, but <laughs> that was what I looked like, basically. So <laughs> you're like, but now I know why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Is, is this photo? It looks like one that could be hanging on the wall of your parents' house, or in some frame on some coffee table. Is it? It's probably on my grandma's refrigerator, honestly. <laughs> I think it is. That and my basketball picture, but I don't know, I'm not very proud of that one. <laughs> has, has a fan asked you to sign it yet? No, no. <laughs> Head looks like a peanut in that. But over time, looks like you got it together. Yeah. You got the, <laughs> you got the fresh cut. Baby fat fell off eventually. Uh, that's Truman's. <laughs> that's my haircut spot in New York. And Brittany, she takes care of me every time. and. She's incredible. Really good at haircuts and really nice lady. So. And that's a great look. That's similar to Luke Voigt's. Yeah, I go a little, a little less that now, but I like it. I like it. So you just became trendy. Started <laughs> at that, and now you're there. Progress. <laughs> yeah. Key. <laughs> Haven't peaked. <laughs> Another little throwback. So you popped yes. up on Jonathan Holder's Instagram feed when I was doing some research. Mm -hmm. See you in the back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was at Niagara Falls. <laughs> I don't know where we were playing because that was like 
early. That was when we were Staten Island, maybe. Okay. Uh, Sean Carly, we had a good time there. We did the Made of Mist. Funny story, we actually, <laughs> we went to the this, and then our bus driver took a wrong turn and was like taking us over to Canada. <laughs> and we had like a bunch of guys that didn't have their like stuff to get over. It was, we almost showed up late to the game that night. It was <laughs> show and go. We literally showed up, got off the car, got off the bus, played. Uh, <laughs> it was chaos. So was this before or after the ride? <laughs> this is before. So we showed up, did that, and then got off and the chaos ensued. Now this one's inside your nice warm home where you're not going anywhere, yeah. anywhere any surprises. Got the cool watch, got the Yankee Stadium ornament in the background. Was this at your family's house? Yeah. Okay. My mom's, each of us get an ornament a year to put on the tree and then kind of disperse and have different trees. She has a, a game clock tree, a beach tree. Who knows, she'll probably have a, a Yankee tree here soon. Whoa, cool. Is it as tall as you? Or do you think it'll be as tall as you? Yeah, they're all full-size trees. Whoa. So, it's pretty cool. All right, stance socks. You got a lot of them, it looks like, in this photo. Yeah. I went through a sock phase, so I was, just had way too many. <laughs> Did you keep them all? Yeah, I got them somewhere. <laughs> so it's good to know that you uh, you got clean socks. Yeah. Now the last one. Here we are, Animal Kingdom at Disney World. Mm -hmm. Like the caption says, your favorite part. I'm big on Disney. We used to go once a year. So I've been at least 24, 22 years. I've been to Disney 22 times, probably, if not more. Whoa. So I know it like the back of my hand. So do you forever. see yourself going back there? Oh, yeah, my niece loves it, so we, take, we go as a family every year. Oh, cool. She's three now, so perfect age for her. She eats it up. Awesome. So now is the final question. It's time for the plug. What do you have to offer and why should somebody call you? I got a cute dog, so <laughs> <laughs> really, that's a that's all I'm really post mostly. That's a great answer. People will follow you for yeah. that. <laughs> if you want to see a cute golden, come on out. <laughs> <laughs>